Question eight. Which statement about f of x equals 4x squared minus 36x plus 81 is true? So if we take a look at the answers that are given here, it looks like we need to find the zeros and we also need to factor it. Well, one or the other. But in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do both. Let's go ahead and begin. So the very first thing that I did is I copied this on a separate piece of paper and we are going to find the zeros. Now to find the zeros, you will be needing to use the quadratic formula. And if you take a look at your reference materials, this is the quadratic formula right over here. X equals negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all divided by 2A. Let's go ahead and begin. I'm gonna write down the formula x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over or divided by 2a. Now to use it, we are going to need to do the ABCs. Let's go ahead and write those down. a is the number with the x squared, which is 4. b is the number with the x no exponent, which is negative 36. Don't forget that negative. And C does not have a variable. There's no letter, which is 81. All right, let's go ahead and input those into our formula. So we've got X equals, copy negative, no B. B is negative 36. I'll put it in parentheses. Okay, so that's another negative. So the first negative is for that formula. The second negative is for that negative 36. Copy plus or minus. Copy square root. B again, B is negative 36 in parentheses. Okay, copy the squared, copy the minus, copy the four. A is, let's see, A is four in parentheses. C is 81 in parentheses. Copy or divide it by, copy or two, A is four in parentheses. X equals. Okay, so here's what you're going to do now. You're going to do this part. Okay, negative, negative is positive. So this is 36. Plus or minus, copy your square root. Everything inside of that square root, I'm going to go ahead and stick that in my calculator without the square root. Okay, we're going to do it part by part. So this is called the discriminant, whatever answer we get from that. So put parenthesis negative 36 parentheses squared minus 4 parentheses 4 parentheses parentheses 81 parentheses 0 copy or divide it by now we're going to do here 2 times 4 2 times 4 is 8 all right let's continue copy your x equals copy 36 plus or minus, we are going to put this in the calculator, the square root of zero. So how do you get square root? So to get this symbol, it's control x squared. And then you go ahead and put zero, it's zero, okay? Divided by eight. All right, now you're gonna do it two times. for the plus and minus. You're gonna do it one time for the plus and one time for the minus. So I'm gonna do 36 plus zero divided by eight and 36, sorry, 36 minus zero divided by eight. Now, obviously, you know, plus or minus zero is, you know, gonna be canceled out. That's gonna be the same thing. So this is gonna be the same number, but I'm just showing you just in case it's a different number. So 36 plus zero is 36. 36 divided by 8, let's stick that in the calculator, 9 halves. Okay, again, 36 minus 0 is 36. 36 divided by 8 is 9 halves. So I have the same number here. Okay, so my 0 is, I'm going to write it here in these braces, 9 halves. I'm just going to write it one time because it's the same number. So let's take a look at which of these is correct? Looks like D, right? Looks like D is my answer. Let's go ahead and circle that. Now I'm going to show you how to factor this. 
So I'm going to show you how to do this by the grouping method, factoring by grouping. So again, we do need to start with ABCD. Well, ABC, sorry. A is 4, B is negative uh, 36, and C is 81. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do, step one, is you're going to do A times C. A is 4 times C is 81. You're going to put that in the calculator, 4 times 81. That is 324. That's a big number. All right, now we're going to need to find the factors of 324. So what numbers can I multiply to get 324? So that would be 1 times 324, and you go in order. Start with 1, and you go 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Okay, 2 times what equals 324? Now, if you don't know, you can put in the calculator like this. You do 324 divided by 2, and it looks like it's 162, so that works. Next is 3 times, so 162 divided by 3 is 54. I'm going to go ahead and just list them because I know them already. 4 times 81. Uh, 5 does not work. It gives you a fraction, so do not list that. 6 times 54. 9 times 36. 12 times 27. And 18 times 18. All right, so after you have your factors, and I'm going to stop here because it's just 18, right? Because I'm going to be repeating myself afterwards. All right, step two. You want the B, okay? What is my B? B is negative 36. So what numbers can I add or subtract to get negative 36? Now, what I like to tell my students is ignore the negative if you're not very good with negatives, okay? 36. Which numbers can I add or subtract to get 36? Well, to get 36, I would do 18 plus 18 is 36, correct? But the problem is I want negative 36. Well, if you want negative, then make everything here opposite. So this is positive 18, make it negative 18. Positive 18 is now negative 18 equals negative 36. So negative 18 minus 18 is negative 36. So this is the pair that I want. I want negative 18 minus 18 because that will give me negative 36. Your next step, step three, you are going to copy all of this, but you are not going to put B. You are going to put negative 18x minus 18x instead of negative 36x. Why? Because negative 18 minus 18 is negative 36, right? So let's go ahead and copy 4x squared, no B. I'm going to put negative 18x minus 18x. Don't forget that. And then you're going to copy the C, which is positive 81. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to separate them into 2 and 2, okay? I'm going to separate them into 2 and 2, and I'm going to find the greatest common factor, the GCF. So to do that, I'm going to need the factors of each number. So I'm going to need the factors of 4 and 18 first. So let's make a factor tree. So for 4, it's 2 times 2. Those are prime. So my list for 4x squared, my factors is 2 times 2 times x times x, 2x's because it's x squared. For 18, let's do two numbers I um, can multiply to get 18. 2 times 9. 2 is prime. 9 is not prime. Two numbers to get 9, 3 times 3. 3 and 3 are prime. So my list for 18x is 2 times 3 times 3 times 1x. Now we're going to do the GCF. What do we have in common? Okay, what do we have the same? I have both of them have 1, 2. Both of them have an X, okay? So my GCF is 2X. That's what they have the same, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a parenthesis. You put the GCF in the front, 2X. You put what is different inside. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You put what is different inside. So what is different here? It's 2X. The sign will be this sign right here, okay, right? So that is a negative. What is different here? I have two threes, which is three times three. Three times three is nine. There we go, factored that. Let's go ahead and do these. 18 and 81. 18, I already did 18. 18 is two times three times three times x. I already did that. You can do the tree again if you want. 81, two numbers to get 81 are nine times nine. Okay, the numbers for nine are three and three. Those are prime. 
Okay, again, nine and nine is three times three. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make our list for 81. It's three times three times three times three, four threes. Let's do our GCF. Okay, what's the same? I have two threes. So I have three times three. What's three times three? Nine, that's my GCF. I'm gonna open my parenthesis, gonna put my nine. Okay, now guys, look, this number, if this first number in the pair has a negative, you got to put it outside. I'm going to go ahead and put it outside because this first number is negative. You stick it outside. Everything inside will be the opposite sign. So I have two spaces here. They will be occupied by the factors of this. The first space here is negative, so I need to make it opposite. This will be positive. The second space here is positive, but here it will be negative, okay? Because I took that negative outside. Okay, now we're gonna put what is different. What's different here for that 18? 2x. What is different here for that 81? Three times three, three times three is nine. And it's gonna be negative because it's the opposite of that. All right, the final step is you're gonna do two pairs of parentheses. You're going to put what is the same here, right? These are the same, and they should be the same. If they're not the same, you did something wrong or it's not factorable. I'm going to go ahead and copy that in the front. And then the different ones, I'm going to put them together. So first is 2x, copy that minus 9. There's your answer. That's how you factor that. Let's take a look and compare. Okay, so here was our answer, 2x minus 9 squared. This is true. So guys, I have two of the same, 2x minus 9, 2x minus 9, right? If you have two of the same, you can do this where you write it one time and put a squared. That means two of these, and that's exactly what I have there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I will see you next time.